Despite that encouraging news, we are not out of the woods just yet. We, of course, need to keep practicing social distance and wearing a mask. But wearing a mask, make sure you have it on right. Covering just your mouth simply won't cut it. And WJZ is live. Ava Joy Burnett has the new research from Johns Hopkins showing just how important it is to wear your mask the right way, which is how you're wearing it right now, Ava Joy. <laughs> Hi, Denise. How are you? So experts have consistently said it's very important for you to wear a mask. How do you do that correctly? Covering both your mouth and your nose. Anything other than that, you could be exposing yourself to the virus or spreading it to someone else. Now that masks are second nature for so many people, researchers at Johns Hopkins Medicine are stressing the importance of wearing them the correct way. Making sure that you wear the mask properly, that you're not breathing air out of your nose and into the world um, that, that might infect another person. The team at Johns Hopkins believes COVID-19 is latching on to certain cells in the nose at an alarming rate, up to 700 times more than in other cells, making cells in the nose the key entry point for COVID-19. So there's a lot of reason to think that the nose is the place where the virus, if not comes in, stays there for a while. And that's the reason why um, it, to prevent other people from getting the virus from you, if you had it, it's important to wear the mask over your nose and not just your mouth. Debbie Jay-Z spoke with people about wearing masks. People don't cut when they wear masks, they usually put it over their mouths and they keep the, the nose makes the air coming out of the nose is hot, so they don't want to do that. I just teach my, my kids and my family, to, you know, it's best to wear a mask. I ride public transportation and in public transportation you will see people not wearing even though they're supposed to. So they either are not wearing a mask or they are not wearing it properly. The Johns Hopkins study could lead to more targeted treatments that could conquer COVID-19. But until that day comes, people are sticking to some simple rules. Until it's over, until it's gone, I'm going to practice social distancing and wearing a mask. And researchers believe since your nose is such fertile ground for the cells that allow COVID-19 to thrive, that may explain why some people lose their sense of smell. Live at 6, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.